All right, here at the home, just wanted to walk through real quick what we're looking at. So if you're looking at all the trims, so it'd be this lighter color here. Um, the lattice work as well. So this lattice work here, um, the trim all the way around the house. So you've got your fascia, your soffit, your trim boards here, um, the front porch columns and ceiling. So you've got that all the way around here. You can see areas that need to be recalked. So this trim board underneath the deck as well. So all of this trim that is this kind of off-white color needs to be redone. You've got areas like this that need to be recalked really well. Make sure that's all sealed up. You've also got a small trim piece along the brick here. So all of that would need to be redone. Um, you've got this back area here. The only thing on the doors that needs to be painted would be this inner door, not the storm door, not the slider. Leave those alone. Um, you've got chimney up here. Got a couple boards at the bottom we just want to pay attention to. I don't think they're bad. We just need to uh, prep them to make sure that moisture is not going to affect those in a negative way, uh, cause any future swelling or rots or anything like that. And then you've got trim boards behind the gutters and downspouts. We'd include the gutters and downspouts in the scope of work. And then you've also got this garage here. So the garage door and the frame. Again, you've got some caulking that needs to be, be done all the way around the house or all the way around the trim. A separate item for this privacy fence here. So this fencing, that's a lattice work, this will all be recoded to match that kind of lighter trim color. So it kind of works its way all the way around the back side here. And we'll kind of just take a look. Obviously needs a good wash. Make sure it gets cleaned up. But it stops right behind this pine tree here. All of this we're not touching. So it stops right here. So that would be taken care of. And repainted. So same thing with this structure here. This uh, outdoor sitting area structure. You've got the trim work. The soffit and fascia. So all of this, all of these uh, horizontal and vertical trim boards, window trim as well. Got the trim on the barn door if you did want it painted um, to be done. This flooring is not part of the quote. We'll go to here, this line. So everything in here will be recoded up into this line right here. Uh, this was just done and they would like this to be redone. So the floor in here, And then the trim in here, not the kind of tannish color, not anything that's this color, just the trim in the door here. And then the bulk of what we'd be looking at would be the ceiling. So the ceiling, she would like a light blue, sky blue. So we'll do that. And then we would do the trusses or the beams, kind of that lighter trim color. You're going to see it kind of goes back this way as well. Most important thing we need to do is full oil prime this OSB material that's up here in the ceiling because if we don't it'll bleed through and it will just look bad. You'll have tannins from the wood bleed through. Same thing with these beams, these knot holes. If we don't prime those um, it'll definitely bleed through. So um, that will be quoted separately um, but that's kind of the process there. Back of the home you've got a little bit of soffit, fascia, You've got a door and door frame. You got a little bit of peeling at the bottom of the door frame that needs to be scraped and primed. Back here on this side, it's really just the soffit and the gutter, gutter board along the side here. You've got trim, vertical trim that needs to be recalked, sealed up and painted. You've got this door that needs to be repainted. It needs to be wiped down, obviously. Just get it clean for adhesion purposes. You'll also have this quoted separately, this kind of side deck area. So the floor and the trim work, the benches as well. All of that will be quoted. And then this kind of structure here, this ivy, um, this gate and the ivy kind of archway uh, will be quoted as well as a separate item there. This door is priced in with the house. And so 
On the floor here, we discussed scraping and priming with a peel bomb primer. Make sure we seal down the edges of anything that we can't get off and then using a solid stain over top of that primer. Solid stain is going to hold up better than a paint would if we put a paint on there. Same thing with your bench, you'll want to use a stain as opposed to a paint. So that is pretty much the scope of the work there. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know, but I'll get this quote worked up for you and I'll have it over to you later today. Thank you.